I got Sarah Anthony in the building. I'm so excited to be here. How you Thank doing? You. I'm good. I'm good. Good, good, good. In the studio, they told me it looked like I was past my bedtime. So Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm doing well. You look wide awake to me. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I appreciate your station, um, not just playing hip hop, but also making sure that folks are informed about what's going on in the community. So oh, shout definitely. out to you. That's the goal. Yeah. We want to keep the awareness up. And that's why I'm bringing everybody to this platform. That's amazing. So yeah, you running for... State representative, yes, yes. So okay. many of your listeners probably know me. I was born and raised in Lansing, so I'm a South Sider through and through. There we uh, go. Went to Everett High School. I know you weren't fortunate enough to go to Everett, and that's oh, okay. That's because I went to Sexton. <laughs> I was more fortunate. <laughs> uh, go Vikings. Um, <laughs> soft shade. No, so born and raised in here, and my senior year in high school, I did an internship at the Capitol, and okay. I immediately fell in love with the legislative process. I knew I wanted to work there. Um, So after I graduated from college, I came back to Lansing. Um, Mm -hmm. Many of us decided to not leave Lansing, but to um, stay here and invest in our city and to try to make it better. And that's really what I want to do. So I've been working. Um, I've been a county commissioner for six years now, um, serving our community, making it better. And I want to continue that service uh, working in the Capitol. Okay, there we go. I'm excited. Let me ask you this. For for some of the people that might not be familiar with it mm-hmm. what exactly does a state representative do yeah i mean that's a really good question i mean state representatives essentially make laws uh, on behalf of the people um of michigan okay right so when you think about road funding when you think about health care when you think about education policy there are 110 members of the house of representatives that are pushing a button voting every day um on those issues okay. and so um i think it would behoove us to have someone in the legislature that knows our community right many times people um are voting and making decisions on our behalf but they've never lived our experience right Right. you can't really relate to um families that are on public assistance unless you've been there right and i've been there right um you've never if you've never been broke if you've never um paid a student loan if you've never um seen family members and friends um, just addicted to different things and just experiencing things in the criminal justice system, I just don't think that you're qualified to make decisions on our behalf. Okay. And so um, I, I have experienced all those things um, or know people who have experienced those things. And so that's why I think I'm really qualified to do the job. There we go. Yeah. So the, uh, the election is in August. Yes, August 7th, right? So many people think that um, the big election is in November, right? Okay. Um, but the reality is that... Uh, here in Lansing our primary election is going to be on August 7th and so um, that's the big election so why is that so why is August 7th so important yeah so Lansing is primarily Democratic right and so right now we have a primary election in which several Democrats are running against each other Um, so that's really going to be the big race and then after that there's going to be a Republican and a Democrat in November but we really need to get our people out in August Okay. Um, and the, the interesting thing about this race is that on August 7th, we're going to be asked to vote for two things with this um, this ballot. Okay. So uh, it's a little bit confusing, but um, the former state representative became our mayor, Andy Shore. And so it left a vacancy. So Governor Snyder could have filled the election or filled the seat a little bit ago. But instead, he said, all right, we're going to have this special election. All right. So we're going to have uh, two times to essentially vote for me, right? So the ballot's going to have my name twice. So I'm going to need our people to vote for me twice. I've been telling people I'm twice as nice. So um, I'm going <laughs> to ask people to vote for me for the special election to start immediately in November and then also vote for me for the next two years. Sarah Anthony, how can people get involved? So I need so much help, right? Okay. Um, my team is strong. It's made up of amazing young people who are passionate about um, making our community better. Most of them are born and raised in Lansing or are just fallen in love with Lansing from all over the state. Um, so we need people to come out and help us spread the word. Um, they can sign up on votesaranthony.com. Okay. <clears throat> or they can slide in my DM. So uh, I literally just <laughs> uh, changed my name on Instagram okay. uh, and made a new page. So I think it's... Sarah for state rep so the that, the number four so Sarah for state rep Here we um, go. they can come in my DM or just go to votesaranthony.com yeah how you liking that music <laughs> I love it okay. I love it we getting it going you played one of my new favorite songs earlier yeah New Lansing yeah she like that New Lansing yeah. record man big shout out to Roscoe P and him Frank 
it's like the best thing I've heard. She feeling she feeling that new Lansing record. That's yeah. what's up. That's beautiful. That's gonna, that's gonna be played at the victory party. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We are gonna get that to you for sure. <laughs> Yeah, so let's talk about your platform a little bit. So. Yes, yes. I want it to be as laid as your platform. Um, of course. So, I mean, you know, I, my platform has really been informed by what I've been hearing from the community, right? So yeah. if I'm just pushing my agenda, then I'm not of the people. And that's what I really want to do is make sure that I'm articulating what I'm hearing in barbershops and beauty salons yeah. and in neighborhood meetings. And so the number one thing I hear is that we need somebody to fix these roads, right? I think okay. you had Shri on here a couple weeks ago talking about the roads. Yeah. And that's real i hear it at almost every single door yeah um the reality is that in 2015 you know the government essentially passed this roads plan right okay and it, it raised our taxes it raised the gas tax and you know every every time you have a birthday you know you pay a little bit more in registration fees but we haven't started to see the roads get better and it's okay. making people angry right and so i know a lot of those um improvements will take place soon but soon isn't good enough and so we need to be making sure that we're investing in what matters which is our roads yeah. right i'm tired of going to the mechanic my tie rods messed up um Man. my 2012 malibu was in bad shape because of these roads and right. so we got to find better solutions right okay um, let me ask let me ask you this yeah. um for the people who don't even this is an issue that came up even after I heard some of the uh, some of the people talking about the potholes mm -hmm. and stuff. There are a lot of people out here without a car. That's right. Who don't care about the potholes. That's right. Who have other issues. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's right. So That's right. it's a lot of these people out here that could care less mm -hmm. about a pothole. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's they, true. It's other things. It's, they have bigger fish to fry. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Especially with with uh, healthcare and education That's issues right. That's as right. well. Yeah. How, how do you plan on tackling some of the uh, healthcare or in uh, education type things? Yes. Yeah. So and and both of those are on my website, right? As some of my top issues. So education, healthcare, and infrastructure or roads are three things that I talk about. Okay. Um, with healthcare, we got to be invested in healthcare, right? As a county commissioner, I've been advocating for what's called the Ingham Health Plan, right? Okay. That's a plan that essentially covers um, folks who don't have health insurance, right? Um, even now in the legislature, they're trying to put a work requirement on Medicaid. So basically saying, if mm. you want services, you have to work for it. That's just like fundamentally terrible, right? <laughs> like if you're sick, you have to work to make sure that you get it. That's just that's just trash to yeah, me. Yeah, come on. And so um, I want to make sure that if that's still an issue that's going on when I'm in the legislature, I'm going to fight every single day to make sure that that's that's not going to happen, right? No doubt. Um, because we have to be taking care of our people. That's ridiculous. Um, in terms of education, I mean that's what I do every day. Um, mm -hmm. My day job is I'm a deputy director for the Michigan College Access Network, so okay. I make sure people get to and through college or get some type of degree or credential right everybody doesn't want to go to a four-year institution or doesn't have that opportunity so we want to make sure that they have an additional piece of paper after high school a yeah. certificate a trade something because we know that in michigan 43 percent of our residents just 43 percent have a degree or credential but by the year 2020 70 percent of the jobs in michigan are going to require a bachelor's degree mm. so just think about that and then it's already kind of like that it's crazy and then when you slice <laughs> up the data and you look at low income people or people of color it's dismal right so we are not making sure that we're covering people right okay. and it shouldn't matter what zip code you're from it shouldn't matter what your skin color is how much money your parents made you deserve the rights to a quality education right talk to them Sarah um, and so you know I could talk about it all night yeah, you know I can't but um, we, at the end of the day I think we need someone who's going to fight um, for us right um, we need people like us at these tables right um um, even I'm a county commissioner right now um, and I'm advocating for a young brother named Darrell Slaughter who's in the studio with us to replace me on the county commission. We need young people. We need people of color. We need people who have experienced what um, what our people experience making decisions on our behalf, right? We got Brian Jackson on the city council. We got Brian Beverly. We got yeah. Rachel uh, Lewis on the school board. We have it's people heavy. in these positions, right? I mean, it's happening right now. We have a revolution happening right now in the city of Lansing and so okay. we need to be a part of this movement yeah no doubt Sarah mm -hmm. Anthony y'all how can they get in touch with you social media wise yeah so you can always go to Facebook so Sarah Anthony for state representative you can go to Instagram Sarah for state rep 
Um, and again, you can always go to my website, votesaranthony.com. Okay. Are you taking volunteers? Absolutely. There's a sign-in sheet right on the website, votesaranthony.com. You can just say, join the team. We need people on our team. This will not happen unless we have people. There we so, go. Yeah. Sarah Anthony, state representative.